Forget small businesses. Even the gods are now losing revenues thanks to the government's decision to scrap 500,000 rupee notes. And so too are towns that depend on the faithful that flock to these temple cities. CNBC TV 18 travels to Tenkasi and Kutralam in Tamil Nadu, down uh, towns that depend heavily, remember, on temples of uh, Sabari Mala for their survival to take stock of the situation. Chut Sanit and Arif Sherbani bring us this ground report. This temple town of Tenkasi in Tamil Nadu is the last stop before pilgrims to Sabri Mala begin their climb. And since a large chunk of the 50 million pilgrims that visit Sabri Mala in November hail from Tamil Nadu, this town is largely supported by these pilgrims and the business they bring. This year, however, things have taken a turn for the worse specifically after the 8th of November, when currency notes of 500,000 rupees were made illegal overnight. With pilgrims facing a severe cash crunch, devotee numbers have fallen. And instead of the usual 300 buses that pass through Tenkasi every month, only 50 have gone through in the last two weeks. We are collecting all the change that we have and distributing it among ourselves. After all, every one of us is affected by the cash shortage. Kort Ralam, which neighbours Tenkasi, is in the same boat. The real impact of demonetization on rural Tamil Nadu can be witnessed right here. Where at Kort Ralam's Koyal Sanadi Bazaar, and these lanes are usually chock-a-block with Sabrimala devotees this time of year. Last week, however, has impacted both those numbers and as a result of that, the bazaar's seasonal business. Mohammed said spy shop, for instance, has not recorded even one-third of its weekly collection of 30,000 rupees. And for Said, paying wages has become a big concern. There's work to do, but I can't pay my workers weekly salaries, and so they haven't turned up to work. I have eight people helping me out, but only two of us are here now. Many shopkeepers have been forced to down shutters altogether. Even eateries along the highways that feed have taken a hit. Tirumalai, for instance, has seen weekly business drop from 5,000 rupees to under 2,500 rupees in the last two weeks. But there's still hope to cling on to. Demonetization is a good decision and we welcome it. It's all right, even if we are affected right now, we'll make up for our losses next year. With Jude Sanit in Tenkasi, Tamil Nadu, in New Delhi, Harib Sherwani.